I'm going to show you how to mine cryptocurrency on your Mac or iMac or any MacBook that you may have in 2024. This includes the M1, M2 and M3. So it's going to be a step-by-step -step guide on how to do it. So first of all, let's navigate to xmrig.com. Go in there, click download. You're going to see that's the latest version, but you actually want to download the Mac version. As you can see for the Mac version, you have two models. You have the one with the Intel and you have the one with the app, uh, Apple Silicon, which is all the M's, one, two, and three. So we are going to download the second one. And this, if we can see here, this is the M3. And that's the one we want to download. If you're not sure, you can go about in your Mac and that will tell you what version you have. But generally speaking, if you're getting a new one, that's what you want. And that seems to be far more efficient in mining than the previous model. So let's see how well it does and how much, how much money we're expected to generate on this. So get ready to be excited. So once you get the zip file, you have to unzip it. I have already unzipped it over here. As you can see, the XMR rig. I have an older version, but it will still run the same way. Now you have to edit this config.json, open it with uh, node edit, and you can see the only lines you need to change are these ones. You scroll down, you want to change basically the coin, the type, the address, as well as the location, which is what the pool you're going to be mining on. In this example, I'm just going to use nice hash because it's the most profitable for now. That may change, of course, but we are going to be mining Monero. That seems to be the most profitable for uh, your Mac. I mean, you can mine everything else. You can mine Ethereum for all, for all I care, but if you're looking at the most profitable for now, that seems to be Monero, XMR in other words. So that's the address, that's the pool that we're going to be copying from. There's the password, there's how the username, you should have a, a, a wallet address if you don't have a nice ass, otherwise you may have any other wallet you may want to use. You have to understand that some pools would pay you uh, differently based on how long you accumulate so some of them could be 45 days depending on how slow your miner is but anyways let's put them over here let's make it simple that's why i went with nice house by the way because it's way easier and less threshold to get paid otherwise if i went with via uh, btc i think it was going to be on this mac over over two months to get paid uh which is ridiculous so anyways that's what you see over here we are going to be mining on the m3 and let's see how well it does after we edited uh, those uh, few fields in the uh, in the text file, the JSON file. Which, by the way, all this will be on the all the information I'm gonna put directly in the uh, description, so uh, you can grab it from there. Uh, it's mining about four thousand and eighty nine, something like that. So let's see how much money that makes us. Can wait a few minutes here to see if it updates, but basically it's going to mine at that speed. So based on the calculation, calculation here, assuming you're paying zero watts, that's going to make you approximately 9.5 cents a day USD. Not much. Of course, you have to factor in the power consumption, which could be 5 cents, could be 10 cents for you, which will basically will make you maybe a 2 cents a day. The good thing is it doesn't generate any heat. I mean, it's quite efficient. Um, in fact, running at less than 60 watts for me and uh, you can definitely make mining on the Mac maybe not the best way but you can do it and those are the step-by-step -step, uh, instructions if you have any questions please put in the description and I'm more than happy to help you in the configuration and how it's done or if you have any questions I'm more than happy to answer you